How you doing? This is Melvin Brown. Welcome back to the Hoodoo Show. Okay, now today is not going to be a topic. Today is going to be a conspiracy theory on former NFL pro bowler, wide receiver, Chris Chambers, and his wife, Bernice Sanders. Okay, years ago, Bernice Sanders was a mistress of Chris Chambers while he was married to a different woman at the time. Okay, Chris didn't want to be with Bernice no more, so he cut her off. But Bernice, on the other hand, was not having it at all. She began to stalk him over and over and over and over and over again to a point that Chris Chambers had to hire bodyguards around him to a point that the cops arrested her and she was charged with 11 counts of misdemeanor of stalking. 11? She racked up on 11 counts of stalking. Bernice still wouldn't give up. She would call his wife, his mother, some of his family members, threatening them, harassing them to a point that Chris Chambers had to put a temporary restraining order against Bernie Sanders. Bernice was trying her hardest to win Chris Chambers' heart so bad to the point that she screamed that I, w- I had your child, but your child died two months ago. It was so crazy that Chris Chambers hired private investigators and the private investigators could not find a birth or a death record of the alleged child she lied about. Barnice was so crazy, she tried to win her way with the um, I had your baby ticket to cash out to win his heart. So what did Barnice do? She stalked him some more. Stalked him, stalked him, stalked him, stalked him, stalked him. Went to his practice facility, causing the scene there. Stalked him that the owner, remind you, Chris Chamber was a raw receiver. He was averaging a thousand yards a season with seven touchdowns. That's great for a raw receiver. The owner and the San Diego Chargers part ways with him because of his drama. Chris Chambers' life did begin to fall apart. Fall apart. No other teams didn't want to be 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 part of. I mean, they didn't want to be with him because you know, this is some stalking shit, and you know they don't want to be associated with that. So basically, his career was cut short. Life was starting to fall apart. His wife, his ex-wife, had enough. Um, in 2010, she filed for a divorce. Two days after the divorce, two days after he filed for a divorce, the woman of his dreams, the woman he said, I do, filed for a divorce and the divorce was finalized. Two days later, Chris Chambers married Bernice Sanders. Now, my conspiracy theory on that whatever Bernice was trying to do in the reality in the reality realm she couldn't get to them so my conspiracy theory is Bernice Sanders got some spiritual work done to get this man back how do a full blown stalker a full blown stalker and it's kind of different because when a man don't want to be with a woman, it's a rap. Work her way to get married. Now, look at these pictures right here. This is her before. She don't look, she, she looked like she could be, you know, with a, with a drug dealer and everything, but she don't look like she should be with a baller. But look at her before. Look at her now. This is some crazy shit. But I like this story because it shows you how powerful magic can be. My best friend told me to do this article months ago. 
I had to make sure everything was right. So when I read this story, I'm like, Jesus, this is some magic. Like, this is some powerful fucking magic. This is some magic. I don't know what it is, but what rim it is, what rank it is, but this is some powerful shit. Yes, magic can, can yes, magic can solve a lot of issues. Remind you, they broke up in 2007. In 2010, they got back together. They happily married, but just, just look at this. I just told you the whole story. Hire private investigators, hire security guards, hire, hire bodyguards. Woman just kept on stalking them, stalking them, stalking them, stalking them. And look at them. They about to celebrate their seventh year in adversity. They was married. They've been married for seven years. Two days later, after his divorce with his old wife, he gets married. That's some fucking magic. That's nigga. We can nigga. You can be nigga. We can be in a barbershop. I'm just going to keep it to the side. Like, yo, that's some magical shit. That's some magic. I'm not going to say what kind of magic it is because I don't know. But this is some magical shit. Some beautiful fucking magic. An ugly situation to a happily marriage home. So, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all can leave a comment. Y'all can y'all, y'all can talk about it. Y'all can leave a comment. Y'all can leave an email. Leave a leave a comment. Like, what do y'all smell in this? What do y'all smell? The audience that be watching the show, what do y'all smell? Cause I guarantee, if a woman been stalking me, I don't want no parts to do. I don't want nothing to deal with her. This is what I be talking about, y'all. This is what I be talking about. You gotta be careful who you sleep with. Because the person you sleep with might got some uh, got a trick under their sleeve, or you gotta be careful of who you be around, who you charming because they might got a trick under their sleeve. Like you gotta be careful, 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 you gotta be careful. Like I know the players and the NBA players, the football players and everybody, they be like, yeah, I be getting, I be getting all these girls and everything. I be getting girls and everything, but they're not spiritually woken. So these females wind up taking the underwear, taking something, some type of part of DNA of them, go to a spiritual worker, to a doctor, to, to a spiritual doctor, put that shit on you and you don't know what the fuck, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you in love with this person? This shit is crazy. This shit is fucking crazy. This shit can't be make believe. This shit is fucking real. Like I smell something. And I always been after I read this article, I was smelling some shit. Because when a man is done with you, he's done with you. When a woman's done with you, she's done with you, but she might come back 10 years later down the road. But when a man is done with you, he's done with you. But this for the fellas, yo. Y'all gotta be careful who y'all laying up with. Y'all gotta be careful who y'all laying up with. Cause a lot of females come to me, they be looking mad, beautiful, and they had enough. They had enough. So you gotta be careful who you sleeping with. This is Melvin Brown. This is the Hoodoo Show. Hit the like, subscribe button, leave a comment. I'm out. And also you can email me. Also, happy Halloween.